what we used to do 25 years ago, we don't do today. We used to focus on just treating the infection and not really knowing that we were putting on agents that would slow the wound healing. Now, a podiatrist has a whole armamentarium of things to get wounds to heal. People that have diabetes have sequelae from the diabetes. The, most, the highest risk factor is they get numbness, neuropathy. So you have about a 40% chance if you have diabetes over, over your lifetime of developing numbness. That numbness is the biggest risk factor. And it's simple. You know, you step on something, you know it hurts, you go to the doctor, you take care of it. Someone who has diabetes has a blister, has an infection, and it doesn't hurt. So they don't go to the doctor, because no one likes to go to doctors. But by the time they do see the doctor, it's so deep, it's so infected, it's harder to treat. We have invested in several modalities to make our practice better for our patients. Those modalities include fluoroscopy, which is like a real-time x-ray. So we can evaluate trauma and ligamentous injuries, which is a very unusual to have that in a podiatrist practice. We also have the state-of-the-art digital x-ray system. We have state-of-the-art vascular machines to assess pore circulation. We even have ultrasound to evaluate soft tissue injury. And those modalities make us a better surgeon, better physicians to help our patients.